I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Today, uh, I know I'm looking a little older, but uh, you know, guess what happened was is uh, Opa came over and uh, shook my hand and did this to me, and uh, so uh, you're gonna have to settle hey, on this. Hey, hey, hey oh, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, this is my shop. Yeah, I was. Your uh, shop's down there. Is the camera running or what? What? What's going on? Yeah, it's running. Oh no, I didn't know that. Um, well, you know, since you're here, let's build something. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Check this out. So to start making this bow sander, we took a piece of white oak and planed it down to about three sixteenths. Uh, just a little bit shy of a quarter inch. It made it uh, flexible enough that we could bend it in our hands and get a nice curvature with it. And uh, kind of played with it until it felt right to bend. Then uh, we wanted to cut this in half so we could make two, and so I was able to use the uh, kerfing plane to set it at a specific distance in and uh, make the cut. This made it fairly uh, straightforward and, uh, and quick to cut. Um, I love using this tool. It is one of the best things I have made in a long time. Once we had those uh, plane down, we can pull it off of the tape and uh, I trimmed them up so they'd be the same length. Now it's time to start working on the two end pieces that actually uh, contact the paper. Uh, we wanted to make a groove for that stick to fit in and then cut our pieces out of that, so Opa got to play with his new 45 that he won in the hand tool build-off, which is one of the reasons why he came up for this. After putting the groove in, we could actually uh, chamfer down the edges and actually rounded them over so that they would have a nice uh, smooth surface to contact the paper with. Some of it with the um, hand plane and some of it with the spoke shave and uh, just basically made it until it felt good on those two sides. After uh, rounding this over we wanted to basically cut it into a stick so that we could uh, have all four pieces um, cut out of this one stick. And so uh, Opa got a chance to uh, play with one of my saws and cut it down. Once we had that stick down, then we rounded over the other two edges with the spoke shave uh, so that it was uh, basically an oval with a slot in one end. And uh, that gives us the, uh, the, the proper shape to support the paper, but uh, without hurting it. Then we can uh, cut all of the four pieces to length out of this one stick and you can kind of see how they are now an end cap for the uh, the sticks we cut earlier. The uh, groove that we made with the plane was actually a bit too small and so we had to use a file um, to widen the groove out to make it uh, fit onto the end of the sticks. Now to bend them and create the shape just put them in a pot of boiling water for a few minutes let the water absorb out um, and then we could uh, work on them. We had to kind of tap down one end because the water swelled it up a little bit so it wouldn't quite fit into the groove. But then we could bend it into the paper and just let the, uh, the sandpaper roll um, hold it in shape. Let it sit overnight and dry out and uh, then we can carry on to the next step. Um, I used a file on mine to smooth out all the sides and give it a bit of a round over on the edges. Um, just kind of cleaned it up. I left it fairly uh, square shaped but uh, smooth to the touch. I finished mine with boiled linseed oil, um, soaking it in the oil and uh, um, probably about three or four coats, letting it soak in completely, letting it dry, and then uh, paste wax after everything else was done. The uh, strips of sandpaper you can cut to whatever thickness you want and they just uh, pop on. And now you have this uh, bow that allows you to sand curves rather nicely. So you can get into handles and other things like that. You could make the paper smaller if you have uh, thinner curves to get into. But one of the nice things about this is once the, uh, the paper starts to load up in one place and is hard to work with, you can just kind of roll it um, along the sander and then get some new paper. So you can uh, keep going. And so it's a, a really nice uh, setup to allow you to use the whole thing. And if you need a stiff side, you can use the back of it. So there is the uh, sandpaper bow. A lot of fun. So I hope you like that. This was actually a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoyed having Opa in the shop here. Uh, came up here to my shop so we could uh, hang out and get to know each other and uh, 
build these little sanders. Uh, so we, we, we've steam bent them here and shaped them here. Um, and you just saw how I finished it. And uh, so Opa is going to take one back to his shop and uh, finish it and do his own thing there. So he's got his own tricks up his sleeve. So um, definitely go check out his channel. You can actually click on his face and uh, take it of him there. So I uh, hope you really enjoy that. And uh, you have anything to say? He really doesn't have any electrical power tools. For all of you that think he's doing some of this on the side with electric, he's got none. <laughs> I swear to God, none. I searched. He did. I have a drill, but I don't use it. So he calls it a drill, but I, I think it's hand powered. I don't. I don't <laughs> buy it. So I hope you like this. It was a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to hang out with Opa here. Um, check out his channel. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, if you did like the channel, please hit like and think about subscribing. I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are phenomenal and a huge encouragement to me. So uh, check out Opa's channel. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye. Now I'm thinking for our intro outro. Hi, welcome to Wood by Wright. I'm your host, James Wright. I look like I aged a little overnight. Well, yeah, that's what happened. I shook hands with Opa, and this is what happened. It's like a disease. I'm going to use that. No, did you film in that? Yeah, it's recording. Oh! Oh! <laughs> See, she always tells me you act, you act like an idiot, and somebody's going to catch you doing it. Oh!